Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So a quick note right off the top, I've received so many requests to review the brand new spring summer collection from Chanel. And of course, as soon as we receive all of the makeup pieces in my Nordstrom, it is top priority. So that video is going to be up as soon as possible. But today's video is actually on the latest fragrance launch, which is the Chanel Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum. This is the latest interpretation of Chance to join the Chanel fragrance family and it is so special for a number of reasons. So all of the Chanel Chance fragrances were inspired by Gabrielle Chanel's belief in taking her life and taking her destiny into her own hands, making her own luck, and really rolling the dice in life, if you will. So all of these fragrances are very vibrant, energizing, they're playful, fun, and feminine. The original Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Toilette was created by Chanel's in-house perfumer, Olivier Polge, back in 2010. It's become known lovingly as the pink one. It's a floral, fruity fragrance with top notes of grapefruit and quince, an iris accord, and cedarwood, amber, and white musk notes in the trail. When you spray the Eau de Toilette, it's very light, very floral, feminine, slightly sensual, but incredibly fresh. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, and out of all of the Eau de Toilette interpretations of Chance, this is by far the most popular. In my experience, I don't think I can remember a time when somebody didn't like this fragrance. They might not love it and want to wear it every single day, but everybody likes it. It is truly a beautiful scent, which is why it makes perfect sense that Chanel would come out with an Eau de Parfum version. The notes are actually almost identical, but of course one of the major points of difference that really separates Chanel fragrance from other brands is that an Eau de Parfum, an Eau de Toilette, an original parfum are not simply dilutions of the same fragrance. Chanel will change the notes, they'll heighten different notes so that it is its own unique fragrance in itself. So in the Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum, the difference lives in the heart of the fragrance with Jasmine Absolute and Rose Essence, which give the fragrance a more feminine, full, and intense trail. Typically, there are two types of rose used in fragrance, May Rose and Exotic Rose, and the rose used in the Eau de Parfum is Exotic Rose, which is fresh and fruity like a pear with some green notes like Verbena and Citronella. So initially when I spray the Eau de Parfum, I can instantly tell that it is Chance Eau Tendre, but it's different. There's something that's a little bit more unique about it. I smell that green, that crisp, almost like a warm spiciness, and perhaps that's just me or it's coming from that really robust floral heart of the fragrance. It's more powerful, but not in an overpowering fragrance type of way. More so in a power suit, pearls, female CEO, girl boss type of way. I don't know, when I imagine Chanel Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum as a living being, I imagine this really strong feminine persona. It's a very beautiful fragrance. The bottles also show some differences. So similar to the Chance Eau de Parfum, the Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum has a silver cap, gold ring, and gold lettering versus the Eau de Toilette that has the frosted cap and the white lettering. It's available in a 1.7 and 3.4 ounce bottle. The Eau de Toilette is available in 1.7, 3.4, and the giant economy size 5 ounce bottles, which are huge, but actually a better value money-wise. The Chanel Chance perfume bottles are really quite special. They pay homage to Coco Chanel and her legacy. So for one thing, the cap is in the shape of a dice because Coco Chanel believed in rolling the dice and taking chances in life. And then the circle that actually holds the juice is intended to look like a crystal ball to symbolize Coco Chanel's very superstitious nature. She was really interested in astrology and numerology, so you'll find a lot of that hidden imagery throughout the house of Chanel. Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum would be a beautiful fragrance for Valentine's Day. It would certainly make a great gift for the holiday. It could easily be your everyday fragrance or you could save it for evenings, weekends, special occasions, and opt to wear your Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Toilette during the daytime. It's completely up to you, but you could easily swap them out depending on the occasion or just your mood. I think that the Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum is going to be just as popular, if not more so than the original Eau de Toilette. 
simply because it does have a little bit more staying power, so I think it's going to appeal to even more people. But in my opinion, I would say that Chanel did a beautiful job creating a brand new pink fragrance. If you haven't seen it already, I would also check out the new campaign. So there's a full video on Chanel.com. It's very cute. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. But it depicts four ballerinas attending a dance audition. So they're sort of taking their chance, if you will. It's very vibrant, bright, colorful, very whimsical just like the fragrance itself. So it's really cool to see more of the story, more of the inspiration behind all of these Chance fragrances. I would say that if you love Chanel Chance, love Chanel Chance of Tendre, or you're just a Chanel fragrance enthusiast, go to a counter, smell it for yourself, see what you think, perhaps take home a sample, but try it on your skin, and that way you'll really know if this is the right fragrance for you. I think that if you like anything that's very feminine or floral, this is going to be perfect for you. I would say it is a beautiful addition to the Chanel fragrance family. And that completes today's video, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. I want to hear from you guys, so if you get to, a chance to try this fragrance, let me know what your thoughts are. I'll, of course, link it down below as well as all of the makeup products that I used today on my face down in the description box. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>